Hello everyone and welcome back to this next lecture. So in the previous lecture, I had given a brief tour of Code Composer Studio. And in this lecture, I'm going to get started by creating a new dummy project with the only intention of installing C2000 web. Now, if you're coming in from the F28069 course, you would know that in the previous case, I had actually installed C2000 Wear package separately. With this version of Code Composer Studio, that is version 20, you do not have to do that. You just have to create a new project. And once you actually specify your particular family or your particular board, you will find that it will automatically install the latest Code Compo latest C2000 Wear package from Texas Instruments. The only difference is you might have to create a account on Texas Instruments and log into that particular account. So let me get started here again. We are in the same getting start getting started page. I will click on this create a new project. So this opens what is called as a project wizard, right? So I'm just going to come over here, go over to the appearance and I will zoom in just a bit so that these things are a little more, little easier to see on the video. So it tells me to select a board or device. So for example, instead you can actually go through everything, but instead of doing that, what I will do is just tap typing F28379. And you will see here that it automatically shows these few boards, right? In our case, it is the launch Excel F28379D that I'm using. And I would also recommend you to use the same. And we can use this. So if you come over here, it gives you several other things that you can do right now. Again, it has provided many, many different templates of which you can create. Look for all these. These are all the different examples that you can download. These are several, several things that you can do, right? It's it's huge, right? And honestly, I have also not taken a long, good look at everything that is available. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a project and it will now install like look at go ahead and look at this entire ex list and it is extremely extensive right it is very extensive so what we can do is you can pick anything you like you can pick if you want this particular driver you can pick an empty project or you can pick any of the examples now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick this driver lip empty dual example ccs project now if you've gone through the previous lectures, you will notice that there are two approaches towards programming the microcontroller. One is driver lib and the other is bit field, right? So what I can do is you can choose any of these. And for that matter, let me just choose driver lib first plus bit field. And you will see here, this is the configuration. So configure selected projects. It says driver lib plus bit field empty. This is the particular CCS TI compil compiler. It includes these two. Most importantly, it includes C2000 because that's because the F28379D is a C2000 microcontroller and no RTOS. This is important because we are not going into the real time mode. We will be running everything in the debug mode, which is non real time, right? So I'm going to click on the create and it will now tell you that the project you have selected is in the cloud. Before you import it, you must download and install the associated SDK. Would you like to install it now? This SDK is the C2000 Wear package, which we had to manually install in the previous course. That is, if you're coming in from the F28069 course. Now, if you try to create a blank project, it will automatically say that I need to install C2000 Wear. So I'm going to cl click on download and install. And you see it chooses C2000 where SDK. Now, you if you really want a slimmer version, then you can choose something which is more specific. For example, you can choose 2837XD software, which means this will be only the 2837 family. In our case, it is a 28379D and therefore you can only select this if you want. However, I'm going to go in for a complete installation because I might choose other microcontrollers as well, in which case I can always use the same C2000 where for all C2000 microcontrollers. So I'm going to click on install and it'll now give me this license agreement. I'm not going to bother to read it. 
If you're working for a company and this is important, please refer this to your legal department. And this process again may take a while. It did not ask me to log in. But remember, if you're watching this video at a future date, in that case, you might, they might enforce a login. That means you have to log into the court, to the Texas Instruments website and only then can you download it. In that case, please be prepared to create an account. So I'm going to pause the video again and come back when this installation is done. So the installation is finally complete. And if you want, just scroll through the entire list. Make sure there is a green check mark to each and every one of this, right? This just shows that all these have been installed. And the reason is I have chosen everything. If we had done a custom install, it would have installed only the necessary package. That is the F2837XD package, which is this one, right? But I installed everything and this is not very large. So go ahead and install it. That's not a problem. So let me close it. So it is now saying, would you like to proceed by importing driver lib plus Bitfield empty project? I'm going to cancel this because I do not need the project at this stage. What I needed was apparently it's not letting me. So let's just import it. So I will delete this soon. That's not a problem. What I wanted was the C2000 wear package. And it is that which I wanted to install. And I wanted to show you how you can do it. And this is one convenient way to do it. Just create an empty project. In this case, I chose driver lift plus Bitfield empty, but you can choose anything you want. It'll end up with exactly the same option, which I showed you. So before I wind up this lecture, I'm going to go over to my file explorer. And now if you see in exactly the same folder, so this is my C drive and I'll go to the TI folder. Before we had the CCS 2011 folder, which is basically code composer version 20.11, 20, 20 or rather 20.1.1. And now we have another package here, another folder. That is a C2000 where 5.04, right? This is the latest version as of the time of making this video of the C2000 where package. So that C2000 where package is a set of libraries provided by Texas Instruments, which provides number one, a lot of examples. It provides a lot of header files, source files and it also provides what is called as the driver lib which is like an api library for for programming the microcontroller so all this will come once we start programming the microcontroller so let me just give you a quick walkthrough if you see these are all the different folders which are available here now there are two folders which are very important for us the first one is this driver lib so if you go into driver lib you will see that there is all these folders corresponding to all the different boards and devices which we were allowed, we, we, we could have chosen during the installation process. So as you can remember, I did not go for a custom install. I went for a complete install. So now all these folders are available, which is actually quite interesting because once in a while you might just find yourself with another device. And if you have these folders, you don't have to go and install anything again. You have everything with you. So in our case, our folder is this one. So let me see if I can zoom in a little. Okay. So again, this is the one that is F2837XD because our microcontroller is the f 283790 So X basically stands for anything. In our case, it is nine. So let me go into it. And here you'll see again, there are two. Both folders are very important. The examples folder has all the examples that you can use. So these are examples that have been created by Texas Instruments engineers for various applications. So for example, let's go to CPU one. You'll see these are all the different examples provided with only CPU one. Again, the F283790D is a dual CPU processor. So which means, or rather dual CPU microcontroller, which means you can have projects with only one CPU, in which case it'll be CPU one, or you can have dual CPU. So this is the one in which case you can use both CPUs. So you can see here that both of these are present here, right? You can use both of them. So let me go back here to the main folder and I will show you another folder, which is also useful. So let's go back to driver lib and again to our own folder. That is the folder corresponding to our microcontroller. And I will go to driver lib. So here, if you see driver lib, you will see that there are a huge number of files you'll see in most cases, it is a combination. 
It is a combination of a .c file, which is a C source code file, and a .h file, which is a header file. Right? Now, besides this, you will see that there is another folder called include, and I will show you this again when we start programming. But now here you will see there are a huge number of header files, and all of these have been preceded by hw, which means these are hardware definition header files. And I'll talk about this in more detail when we start programming. And inside this, you will see some other things such as this is the debug. The reason why this is important is whenever we create a project that uses driverlib, it will copy all these folders, that is all these folders into our project. And this means that our project is ready to go. Right? So again, I'll go back to the main, main folder and I will show you one more folder before I wind up this video and that is device support. So if you're coming in from the F28069 course, I would have used the device support folder in, a, in more detail. The device support is basically the other approach towards programming, which is called as the bit field. So here too, you'll see a whole list of microcontrollers. Again, let us choose the one which we're using. That is the F2837XD. And here you'll see again, a whole lot of folders. Now this is something would be very familiar to you if you have taken my previous course. Again, these are all different source files. So for example, if you go into common, you will see that there is source. These are all the C files. These C files contain a huge number of helper functions. Again, these are similar library functions, just like what driverlib approach offers, except that now here you will also have an include folder where you have .h files. These .h files will provide the bitmap definitions for every configuration register associated with every peripheral in the microcontroller. So all these details will come out when I start programming and I will show you what these are. And of course, we will also go through the theory in order to figure these things out. So let me go over to the main folder. And with this, I'm pretty much done. What is the important thing about this particular lecture was how to install the C2000 web package. So again, to install the C2000 web package, all you have to do is go to your get started, get started window, create a new project, which starts up the project wizard. And once you go to the project wizard, enter in the f 283790 d and choose the launch Excel device board. And once you have this device board, pick any empty project, right? It doesn't really matter which, because as I said, we are not dealing with projects yet. We just want the C2000 where library. And that is what we have installed. This will automatically install it. In our case, it did not ask us to log in. But when you're watching this video, Code Composer Studio might enforce a login, which means you might have to create an account on Code Composer Studio, log into that account, and only then will you be allowed to install C2000 by package, right? If that's the case, please be prepared to create an account on Code Composer Studio, or rather on Texas Instruments. So if any of this was not clear to you, or you have any other doubts, please post in the Q&A forum, and I'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much for listening and see you soon. Goodbye for now.